and and that's the value of doing this under uh, it, within the institutional structure of something like Hopkins because people know that what we're doing is giving them a, a compound that, that that we know to be psilocybin in this case synthesized psilocybin in in capsules important do you think you know because you said they have to feel safe but i would think that it's more that they have to be safe and you, you know what i mean that that if this this is why psychological research in particular is so likely to go astray because <clears throat> its validity depends on 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 integrity in ways that aren't obviously measurable or describable in a research paper so you know, I would think, and please correct me if I'm wrong, that if you didn't have exactly the right sort of people, um, qualified, intelligent, insightful, competent, caring, awake, all of that, and dedicated to actually taking care of the research subjects, like none of this can be a show for that to work right. Because this can go wrong very badly. I have one question, Dr. Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. Uh, to not necessarily expect, but uh, but not rule out the possibility that what may emerge in during the session is something that they'll find absolutely terrifying or anxiety producing. Okay, so they know that. Oh, oh, absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. And so I almost. And how often do people encounter? So I mean, the experiences are exceptionally profound and range across the full range of emotional significance. In, in fact, past the normal ranges of emotional significance. So how frequently in the experience is the negative end of the human experience magnified? But I'd rather be remembered for my own small contributions to science and not because of my accidental relationship to a famous cuckoo. Uh, if during the session, uh, a demonic figure, you know, comes up and starts to approach you. Um, your your job is to be interested and curious about it, to recognize that this is a display of consciousness. We will, we'll often say there's nothing in consciousness per se that can hurt you. Very good. Since our lab work today is a demonstration of just that distinction, why don't we proceed? And, and what, you, what we want you to be is interested in this. And so instead of reifying an image if, in your mind, so take the demon, instead of reifying it, and if you do, you'll either choose to run from it, and then you'll spend the entire session running from this demon that's gonna annihilate you until you're exhausted and the psilocybin's gone. Or, alternatively, you may choose to fight it, but, but by fighting it, you've also reified it. I have one question, Dr. Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. What we really want you to do is be really interested in it and be curious about it. And so it's terrifying. It's, it's a construct created by you, for you, probably to, ter to, to terrify you. Uh, and uh, be interested in it and and curious about it and, and it's through that recognition through although the hair on the back of your head may be standing on end you know we would much rather have you approach it uh, and in effect ask it what it's doing there There was such a lot of screwballs in all my life. Everybody's nuts around this place but me.
boy, the world is flat. I'm looking it in the eye. I see further. I see wider. I see clearer.